All right, presidents rank the Resident Evil characters, Wait, the main characters. Are you guys down for another tier list? Okay. I don't know, Donnie. That last one got people pretty riled up. Do you think this is the first time we hurt someone's feelings? Captain yes, America. I don't really care what people think, Barack. <laughs> Come on, let's get into it. Oh, nice. Resident Evil protagonist. Okay. Yep, it looks like everyone who ever mattered is here. Donnie, I don't play scary games. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I don't play scary <laughs> games. Wait, where's Billy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Wow, Donnie, that's messed up. Wait. A lot of people like Barry. Time, Barack. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off with Jill and OG from the first game. Jill Valentine. <sighs> She's she's an S tier character, honestly. She's in a she's a she's an OG character, and she's still alive. So yeah, S tier sandwich. Uh, anyone? Just, Thanks oh for my god! That out of the way. <laughs> I won't have to see it one hundred times in the comments. There she's you go. easily the best female protagonist in the franchise. Uh, I don't sandwich. know about that. Damn it! I swear to God, Joe. So I Google. You know what? You're right. You know what? Let me let me fix this. I said S tier, but I got to remember there's a lot of S tiers in here. Uh, compared to the competition, Jill is. A or S, A or S. We're going to keep her out of S for now, and we'll see later on. Google Jill Sandwich, and I'm looking through the images. Damn, I might be a Resident Evil fan after Might be some freaky shit in there. Look, she's only been in a couple games as a main character. She was barely in RE5 either. She was in Revelations as well, Don. But she was a beast in RE5. I like the control Jill. She's over there flipping around in her skin-tight suit. This list is uh, purely based on main titles, yeah. games 0 through 8. Okay, well, 1 and 3 are two of the best games in the series. She's still S-tier for me? Sure, why not, I guess. Who's this next Old guy? That's Chris, That's Chris, bro. That's the guy. Hold on. Between Chris and Leon, bro. I mean, shit, that fight in Resident Evil 6, I'm over here like, bro, Leon really act like he about to do something. He's like, his ass whoop. Chris is S tier. What the fuck does that even mean? In Resident Evil 5, he punched the fuck out of him. Yeah. Path. Damn, what a giga Chad. <laughs> he has also probably had the most appearances across all he the games. He did. Game. Yeah, he's, he's had the most appearances. He's only two of those, though. Is your dementia getting worse or what? No. You play as Chris in RE1, Code Veronica 5, 6, 7, and 8. There fuck you, go. Donnie. He's just overhyped. Beating up a bull. No, he's not overhyped. He deserves... I, I don't agree with his, like... His character arc, he went from like a kind of like a superhero to being uh, he, he wants to be a hero to being very pessimistic and some would say fucking evil. But it's always for a good cause. Chris is a good guy. And his feats of strength are pretty, pretty impressive. It was pretty badass, Joe. I'd say S tier. And yeah. what happened to purely the main titles? Without CVX, that's still more than any other character, idiot. Yeah, Chris has showed up more than anybody else. All right, whatever. Up next is Claire Redfield. I really want to love Claire so much, but I'm not going to lie. She is a B tier, and I loved Claire. Like, Code Veronica was the first Resident Evil that I actually played. That was a real Resident Evil game, because Resident Evil 5 was my legitimate first Resident Evil game. But a lot of people, especially way back then, we're talking about how that game was absolute trash. I played it recently. It's not terrible, but it's not crazy amazing. The story is fucking whatever. But the cinematics were really good. The weapons were cool. The level design, some of it was good. Some of it was meh. And yeah, that end game with the, the zombie shooting back, I can't really defend that shit. <laughs> sister. Claire is a mid-tier character, B rank at Yeah, I accept Claire? that. Jesus. Damn, what the hell? What the hell's going on here? So why do you always find this cursed shit? <laughs> Two remake, Barack. Okay, oh. well, I just bought the game right now. She was a pretty <laughs> crucial character in the storyline. I think she deserves at least A tier. She is important. Crucial, Joe. Yeah, they That's are why all. They're called protagonists. <laughs> Look, let's just move on to Leon. Sure, Leon professional. Leon is also S tier, but I think he's below Chris personally. A lot of people love Leon. I love him too, but look, when it comes to Chris or Leon, I'm taking Chris. Cool guy. It's to your character hands. Yeah, well, uh, not in like real life scenario because everybody that goes with Chris fucking dies. So and he's a <laughs> character in RE2, 4, and 6. I still think 4 is overrated, but 2 and 6 put him in 8 tier for me. I played 4 remake. Um, I think, I think it's going to be a fun game. Uh, but I'm interested to see what they do with the story. How does he look 17 and 40 at the same time? <laughs> it's the hair. Is that the Justin Bieber hair? Mainly starring in RE3. I haven't, I haven't played RE3, so I don't know much about Carlos, so this is all up to y'all. Second protagonist. He's also the only reason Jill survived Raccoon City. So oh, well then shit. Control. That's pretty that high. That's an A tier on its own. C tier at best, honestly. Jesus That's damn, a little okay. fucked up, Donald, but whatever. <laughs> Cry me a river, Joe. I've seen this next character somewhere. All right, man. Ada Wong, S tier. Best female. Honestly, best female. 
Yeah, Ada Wong. Ada Wong. Her secrecy, you never really know whose side she's on, but you can pretty much guarantee she's going to help Leon. Like, well, then we sometimes you can guarantee it. Sometimes it's like, damn, is she going to help him? So I, I really enjoyed Ada, especially I played Resident Evil 6 like three, two or three weeks ago. And I really did enjoy playing as Ada, even though the story of Ada was pretty meh. Just her actually meeting the other characters was just really interesting on its own. Wong is just a mercenary. She does help Leon just, in RE2, 4, and 6. She's just, a pretty unique character, A tier yeah. for me. So her name's Ada Wong. All right, save yes. this for later. Just once, Barack. Just what? once could you fucking be normal. <laughs> anyway, she was a pretty decent character. I'd consider her A tier as well. Rebecca Bro, Chambers. S tier. You guys are crazy. Okay, Rebecca Chambers. I'm going to give Rebecca an A tier. This is next. She was the main character in RE0 and a supporting character in RE1. She's mm. definitely one of the weakest characters in all of the franchise. Do you even know how many times? Yeah, but she, she she is. But I mean, come on, come on, bro, come on. That's Rebecca. Come on. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. Okay. Skill issue. <laughs> he was the other main playable character in RE Zero, but we have never. Oh, Billy! I thought they. Okay, I thought I really thought they were talking about. Uh, Heard of him since? The other guy. He's probably dead. In RE1, Probably. she was barely useful either. She said that is true. Plant 42, I'd say that was useful. I mean, that is true. Years. But besides that, what else did she do? <laughs> if I give her B tier, can we move on? I feel like Albert Wesker should be on here too. He's a fucking main character. Yeah, why not? Who is this though? Exactly. Um, she's the supporting character in Resident Evil 6. Honestly, bro, uh, I, I the only thing cool about her is like her fighting. Um, if you use the melees, that's literally it. I would be fine if she's in D tier. I can see why some people might say C tier because she's attractive. But look, let's list all the shit she did in Resident Evil 6. She got the president killed. She betrayed America essentially for her own interests to save her sister. Failed at saving her sister and almost got herself killed trying to defend her sister, which was transformed into a monster and was trying to kill her. And her sister was gyrating the whole boss fight. And I think they probably would have died if it wasn't for Ada Wong. Yeah, I say that's a D tier character. D tier. Damn, that's cold, Donald. Even for you. Yeah. What does that even mean? She's the most forgettable protagonist in the franchise. The campaign was literally her story. Leon was just there to make everyone happy. And guess what? Leon did more lifting than she did. Yet he's the one we remember the most. Hey, there you, you go. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. Sherry Birkin. All right, Sherry Birkin is an absolute beast. She can defend herself. She has superhuman powers. I like. Look, I was playing cold with this. My friend that was playing as uh, as Sherry was like, man, she sucks. Honestly, I was like, she's honestly a pretty cool character. She can handle herself. She knows her way around a weapon. I think, honestly, Sherry is A tier. I think she's a really good character. Okay, another one from RE6. Her regenerative abilities alone put her in S tier. Her story I in RE6 I was kind of weak. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't deny S tier, but I think it's more possible you know more factual her being an a tier character c tier at best no way you c tier you're tripping bro she has the most tragic backstory the best ability and her campaign oh what is this the the fucking oppression olympics oh her backstory is so sad all these characters have fucked up stories man the best in re6 she deserves to have what she say what you say ability and her campaign was the best in re6 I played RE6 recently. I don't agree with that. I really don't. They all have a different type of style. I want to say, honestly, Chris had the most fun style for me personally. Had the most fun style. But then Jake and, and Sherry is definitely close second. Then Ada and Leon had the slowest campaign by far. I didn't really enjoy it. Leon was the only saving grace of that of his side of the campaign she deserves to have her own game fine have it your way donnie damn s tier oh shit that's crazy uh biden needs to argue more because ain't no way he can say c tier and then uh, trump's like s tier and then he's like okay fine like no fuck no argue that shit down to an a debate you guys are presidents whoever's making these tier lists make these fuckers debate that's literally part of their job to even get nominated debate stop letting oh yo fuck it sure it's lazy writing. I always do, thanks. What's her story? I don't have time for that, Barack. Just watch a lore video. Okay, well, S tier for healing powers. <laughs> reminds me of this one anime called... Finish that sentence and I'm kicking you from the call. <laughs> now this next... I mean, all, almost all anime got some type of healing powers. All right, Jake. We're going to put Jake over in S tier, bro. A lot of people don't like him. I think he's fucking awesome, bro. I'm reading chat knowledge. I see you, bro. Bro, 
Jake is an absolute beast. He's cocky. He does have his dramatic moment where he's trying to figure out who his dad is and who killed him. And he finds out Chris kills him. And he's like having the gun straight to his face. And he's like, if you pull the trigger, that's fine. You should go save the world. And he's like, who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I'm going to save the world because I want to, not because you told me to. Like, ah, respectable. And he has a motorcycle. He knows how to ride that shit. Fucking S tier character. This guy is Jake Mueller, the other protagonist from Sherry's campaign. Jake Mueller is a beast. Jake's story to begin with. Yeah, whatever. He's the son of Albert Wesker and inherited some of his abilities, but he's really annoying. He was a way better character than Sherry. The be uh, I, better than Sherry? Um, yeah, but not that it's not because Sherry is a bad character. It's just they have their different. They're, 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 they're different. But I think Jake and Sherry actually have just a great chemistry and they're both new characters. So I think that that was an absolute W. Best thing about him was Troy Baker as the voice he's easily seen. Here. <laughs> Can we just get on? Bro, right? you guys are tripping, bro. This guy's S tier. I would take A. If, you, if he's so annoying, fine. A tier. But no, this guy's a fucking Chad. Who's not as big as a Chad as, as Chris, but a fucking Chad. Okay, uh, now this guy, I I don't remember his name. Um, what the fuck the nickname we gave him? We gave him some type of nickname like uh, American Sniper or some shit like that. Because <laughs> that was his main weapon as a sniper rifle. Uh, overall, his story is, Chris, we should be doing this instead. And Chris is like, no, our mission is this. Chris, we need to arrest these guys. Our mission isn't to arrest them. Chris, we should do this. That's not our mission. That's literally it. And the only saving grace was when Chris was literally killing the whole team. And he was like, you're fucking up everything for a personal vendetta. Get your head straight, bro. And when Chris was like, I need to do this, he was still there with him. He's like, I'm not going to let you go on your own, which is crazy. Honestly, I thought he would have at that point in the game, if it wasn't a fucking two player game, he should have just been like, I, I can't let you do this, man. Like. We need, I need to call higher, like, you're off the deep end right now. But for him sticking with him, that's some that's some true G shit, bro code, all that. So overall, I would say he's a B tier. Not amazing. And even when he takes the sacrifice to become half mutant, I mean, I mean, they killed the fucker off literally the same game he comes out. So yeah, B tier. Who's next? That's Piers, the best new character yeah, from Piers, R6. Says, he did No, bro. What, the, what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? Jake, Sherry, hello? He had the most fun gameplay because of his sniper. He also sacrificed himself to Fun because of the sniper? Bro, this is somebody's personal opinion. Fuck no. Chris. I'll consider him eight tier. I think he should be S tier, but I'll settle for eight. Next. You guys are fucking wild. Sheva, the partner of Chris and Ari. All right, bro. If, 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 if Sheva gets slander, this is how I know this is just somebody's one opinion. Didn't even take in consideration argument. Sheva overall, overall, regardless of her attraction, her her comparison, her her what she does with the story, overall, Sheva is a B plus character. She's high B tier, but there's no way she's A tier. There's no way she's C tier, and there's fucking no way she's S tier. Five. She was a one off character, never seen again. She wasn't that great of a character, and she had a generic backstory. What do you mean? She had one oh. of the most in-depth backstories for only showing up in one title. Okay, Facts. But no one reads that shit. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well just because you don't read it doesn't mean it's not there, okay? Like, you say, oh, sorry, officer, I didn't see the speed limit was 60, so that's why I was going 90. Like, okay, cool. Your defense is you're ignorant. Congratulations. Here's your ticket. What I found through Google, easiest S tier. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, maybe she's A tier. <laughs> I forgot about the costume. Why am I not shocked? I don't tier, but I'll put her in A tier. Why is I don't really think so. Even though I really do enjoy Sheva, and I would love to see her return. I would absolutely love to see her return. I definitely would want them to try and show people why she's a great character when we get the Resident Evil 5 remake. I don't think she's A tier yet. I don't think so, because you're putting A tier. You're putting Ada Wong and Leon Kennedy in A tier. I, I guess I can understand why, because you put fucking Pierce in A tier <laughs> for some reason. But Sheva, I don't think so. I think B tier. Is the next one just a hand? It's the protagonist, Ethan Winters from 7 and 8. Oh, Ethan. I totally forgot about this guy. Um, Ethan, I didn't even finish 7. He seems like a cool dad. All he did was try and go find his wife for, in 7, and then he went to go find his daughter in 8. Um, I did play uh, the DLC, and I thought the DLC was awesome. Um, 
him being just a scribble. I thought that was cool. And then he shows up. Uh, and that was adorable. But overall, I think he's just so different compared to everybody else. Because everybody else is saving, literally saving the world. He's Except Ethan is saving his family. So it's more grounded. Um, saving the world versus saving your family. I mean... I guess you could say A tier. Anybody could say A tier for him, and I'd be fine with that. Um, I think A tier because, you know, he's a great father and a great husband. But besides that, I mean, because he's in his own vacuum. I can't even really say B tier because you can't really compare him to these others and what they've done. Well, I mean, you can kind of do that, but it's like, I don't know, B tier or A tier. If people say S, that's absolutely wild. But A tier or B tier, I can see it. Hey, first Ethan is cringe and bland. I'm sorry, guys. He's a poor man's mix of Leon and Isaac Clark. Damn, that I was reading that. I'm live. Damn, bro. I mean, a poor man's version of Leon and Isaac. Fuck. I didn't even think about it like that. Damn. But that's a little harsh, bro. That's a little harsh. I mean, he's not that fucking bad. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can't even really compare many people to Leon. I mean, Leon's like, um, we're doing this for the country. And, and he, did, he didn't even want to sign up to save the country anyway. It's just like something that was voluntold for him. Uh, but yeah. His hands have been through more shit in two games than anyone else <laughs> on this list through the whole series. Are you fucking crazy? I mean, single-handedly, sure, you could say that, but they, like, Leon, Chris, they literally have saved the world several times over. Like, not once, not twice, several fucking times. He's had his arm chopped off and reattached, fingers bit off by lichens, and ripped apart while hanging from hooks. He goes through hell to save his wife and seven. Bro, his hands are crazy. He's a family man. <laughs> He's a family man, way yeah. Cooler than everyone else. He obviously goes in S tier. Oh my fucking god, bro. Oh <laughs> my fucking Fuck whatever you're about to ask. I'm about to take another nap. Yeah. Dang. We'll continue researching these characters later, Donnie. Freaking freak. All right, what do you guys think about that? I think this video is fine. I want to let's read the comments, bro. Read this. This video was a gigantic pain in the ass after the first 4 hours of making W Premiere crash. Uh, second time try to edit uh, blah, blah blah. Adobe Premiere fucked me three times. I couldn't be bothered to edit this again for the first time. It is what it is. I mean, that's some real shit. I mean, I don't blame you. If the shit crashed several times, who the fuck wants to keep editing it? Okay, I get it. I get it. But that sounds like an absolute skill issue. That's what they would say anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that is tragic. Leon not being S tier is a crime against humanity. Ugh, fucking Leon fanboys, bro. Ethan being represented by just his hand is fantastic. That is true. Uh... Leon, Leon, Chris, Leon, Claire, and Jill are all S tier. I would not put Claire Redfield in S tier. Jill, I can see being an S tier because she's a staple of the franchise. Um, Chris and Leon, yeah, they 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 could both be S tier. I, yeah, I agree. Leon, Leon, S tier is totally totally fine, totally understandable. Um, but yeah, that was that was that was that was an interesting tier list, and it's good that we see the perspective. Ah, uh, Yama. I think I think you do a good job with these tier lists, bro. I'm going to subscribe so you can get 1,000 so you can fucking make some money. Everybody else should also subscribe. Like you, you guys are watching this content, but you guys aren't subscribing. Like Get this man some money so he can at least continue because I enjoy his content. If you guys are enjoying his content, you guys should help him out. Anyways, that's the video. That was dope. Uh, <laughs> dude has more spare arms than SpongeBob facts. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. We're going to check out some uh, stuff. We're live. If you see this video, come hang out. Anyways, see you guys. Bye-bye.